always want to help, you know, and, uh, and as an artist, it's like, how can you help? Artist Joshua Wingerter is using his artwork to bring back a little life to the city. The wood boards of businesses that were closed have become his canvas. A few weeks ago, he started spray painting famous musicians like Louis Armstrong wearing a mask and portraits of frontline heroes. So it really just kind of snowballed up until about, I think, I think on like day three, everybody started really noticing what was going on. And we had just finished up Frenchman Street. And, uh, and then from there, it's just been nothing but, you know, hey, can you do more? So he did more. He's giving back. Thursday, he was in front of Peaches Records on Magazine Street. All the proceeds from the sale of these pieces will go to St. Jude's and hashtag lunch bag. You know, it's such a beautiful event because New Orleans, as we all know, is the most artistic community in North America uh, by far. So to see the city rally behind an event like this just goes to show you how much people love art in New Orleans. Dozens of fans lined up to watch and purchase his work. Police later broke up the crowd because of health concerns, but Wingerter says he understands and he's not discouraged. He says art can be a good medicine during these uncertain times. Something enjoyable, something relatable, and uh, something that's current for everybody. Because the crowd was broken up, the event ended early, but Joshua Wingerter's artwork will be sold at Peaches Records Friday. There are 32 pieces, and again, all proceeds go to charity. Reporting in Metairie, Salah Kim, WDSU News. All right.